Hello all and welcome to the latest in the series of Jamie's Basic Backgrounds. Now on these little YouTube videos we aim to inspire you with real quick demonstrations on how you could create some really fun backgrounds that you can bring into all of your paper crafting and even home decor styles. Now today we're going to be creating this encaustic art style effect but using Cosmic Shimmer Pearl Tints. All products that I share with you and show you are of course available from Craft Mania, which is a UK based um, independent craft store that ships worldwide. I'll tell you more about that towards the end of today's video. If you're new to watching our YouTube videos, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notifications. Our YouTube channel is Crafting with Jamie Rogers and Craft Mania. So with no further ado, let's talk to you about how we're going to create that background. So I have here just a piece of ordinary silver mirror card that I've already cut down just to a smaller size and got on a piece of plain white copy of paper. We're going to be using the Cosmic Shimmer Pearl Tints. Now these of course are available from Craft Mania. They've come out in two different colourways throughout um, 2021. We're going to be looking to begin with some of the newer shades. So I'm going to start off here with Teal Dream. And all I'm going to do is just take um, the applicator, so it has a fine no nozzle, and I'm just going to do a few random dots of colour going across my work. Now this time I'm actually going to work in lines. You can be random if you wish to, you don't have to be in lines. But I'm going to try and show you how we can shade them just a little bit. I'm then going to go in and we're going to pick up some of our red shades. So let's go for this one, I believe it's hearty red. And we're going to go across down a little bit further with the red. I'm not worried if the dots don't stay as dots, I'm, I'm trying to be quick, so I'm not really focusing too much on how the colour's delivered. Um, if you do want them to be dots and stay as dots, just take a little bit more time to place them and they will stay as dots. I'm then going to add some Fragrant Lilac, now this is from the original release of colours. I'm also adding quite a lot of product to this. Um, I don't want to run out halfway through and slow down the filming, so I'm going to add more than I probably need. If I was at home and working on my own speed, I'd probably add in a little bit more as I go. You don't have to overload your product to begin with. Now, if you like the dots, you might be looking at the dots and thinking, actually, I don't know what he's going to do next, but we don't need to see no more. We're sold on the dots. You can, of course, just leave the dots as they are. This product will adhere to Miricard. It will adhere to non-porous surfaces such as Miricard, acetates, bits like that. And I have a couple of cards here where I've literally just done the dots, left them alone, used that as my background. So it's just a different way in which you can be using this product. I'm going to pop those ones down for just a second and we're going to go on to continue our technique. So what I'm using is just an ordinary palette knife. And I'm going to take the base of the palette knife and I'm going to start off just slightly off the edge here of my mirror card and I'm going to come in padding my colour. Now I'm going to try and stick roughly to the lines that I've already created but I'm quite happy to let them blend together. But we're going to pad across the top here. We're going to slowly start to move our padding down to let the lines all mix in slightly. Now I purposely don't want the colours to become too muddied but I do want them to mix a bit. And we're going to continue going across. Now one of the joys of working on Miricard is if we do have some colour come through from underneath or we don't quite fill all of the areas, it's really not a problem. The Miricard will just shine through and it will look like part of the design. And in actual fact, it can add to your design because if you've got that metallic undertone going on. So if I was also doing this for a project that I was going to use, I would also do a slightly larger panel so I can trim away the excess off the edge so I don't have to worry about it all being spot on all the way across. And then I'm going to come down here, I'm going to hold this just off the side here and do a bit more across the bottom. Now because we've kept our dots and our lines roughly in place, you can see that we've maintained our sort of colour panels as we go down our project, which is really nice. Had we done random dots, that too would look really lovely. So play about with it as you wish to. None of your product has to be wasted either. So all of this that's on here, you can start taking that off onto another piece of card and you can swipe that down as well. If you haven't seen that video of our basic backgrounds, there is one of those available as well, showing you how we can take our pearl tins and do swiping techniques with them as well. So if you haven't found that on our YouTube channel yet, do keep your eye out. Now when we take this off of the panel, obviously this is going to take a little while to dry, but already we can start to see that mirror card coming through from underneath in small areas, which is just a really pretty addition. 
Now to me this looks a little bit like encaustic art. Um, years ago I loved playing around with encaustic art, which if you've never heard of before, you have like an iron and you have your blocks of wax and you have to melt them and go across your card. This I find a lot easier, a lot quicker and a lot less expensive. But you know, each to their own, we're allowed to do that as well. But if you're not something, if you're not in the market for a new hobby, this might be a good way to get a good effect as well. This is a panel I've already done, which is dry, just to give you an idea. So that one will dry as you see it. There's no trickery in this. As it is, it will dry. Um, of course, you could do this with different colours, mirrors underneath as well. Even like a rainbow or a gold might look really lovely. You could also do more on top of it as well. So I have one here that I've stamped on as well. And this is using one of our designer boutique stamps, which you will find on the Craft Mania website. This, of course, is our dragonfly design, which is absolutely beautiful, especially with all these flowers. You could use more silhouette style stamps as well. So something like the DL designer boutique stamps would look really lovely if you wanted to create more of like a backdrop of a night sky and pieces like that with your colours. With so many shades of pearl tints available, it really is down to what you wish to create and what you wish to put on top of it to obviously what colour palette you may wish to be using. Now with this in mind, I have a few cards here that I can share with you just quickly to give you a few ideas of how we could dress these up. So on this one, obviously we've gone for a bit of a night sky effect. We've added in our polar bears, and our igloos and a couple of decorations just to finish this one off, including some sentiments and snowflakes. On our next one, we've used a slimline die of these lovely polka dots. And we've added that over the top and we've also used some fluffy stuff, some penguins and our little igloo and presents as game to decorate with. This one's actually done on acetate, so I've kept it really plain and simple. And I've just added in a border and a couple of little decorations. But I wanted to show you really how you could also be decorating with this technique on acetate. And it will dry and give you a really nice effect. I have another panel here which is created using one of our slimline Christmas release dies again. And again, we've just added in some Christmas trees and some wording to go behind or in front of our background. And then lastly, another one of our slimline dies. And we've just put the background obviously behind it to give you a bit of an idea of a hint of that coming through. Of course, you could die cut your panels. You could emboss your panels. You can really play around with these and do different things with them. So it's a very simple and quick technique, but hopefully one you've enjoyed. Don't forget all of the products we've mentioned are available from craftmaniacrafts.com if you shop online. Or of course you can pop into one of our stores. You can also order via phone. Our phone number is 01403 843 If you live within the UK, all of your parcels, if you spend over £5, are completely free delivery. If you live internationally and you wish to shop with us, PMP is capped at just £10. If you check out the website, it will tell you all about all of the bits I'm telling you. Also, if you do enjoy this technique and you would like to craft along and play and then share with us your creations, please do join in with our Facebook group, which is called Create with Craft Mania and Jamie Rogers. We would love you to share your work on there so we can see what you've been creating. Thank you very much for watching today's video and I look forward to seeing you again soon on the next Jamie's Basic Backgrounds. Bye for now.